filmed by one of the three main uh, directors in, in, in Cuban films, Humberto Solas, who was the leader of this film. The film of the same name as the, uh, the music I wrote. And uh, the film is very simple. It was um, a man who's going to die, which is dramatic. And uh, the man who's going to die thinks about himself, about what he did, about what he was going to, supposed to do in, in a future which is not existing anymore. And then why do you talk so much about death? I don't know. What happened now? And I think there's a magic, should be a moment of magic in every single music. At least a moment, a couple of notes, one chord, one sonority. And this is not, if you, if you look, to, if you try to produce it, it doesn't work. But if there is intuition, in the way music flows, there is a moment in which you can try to produce this magic. And I think this is very important. Un día de noviembre was separated from the film, and uh, I did, uh, by request of many, many people, a, a kind of solo piece for guitar. And that's why it is very well known along. <laughs> Well, rhythm is not important. That's why I try to flow in a kind of uh, uh, traditional uh, background. I, uh, I choose a kind of uh, uh, Alberti bass, which is, for the people that doesn't know uh, musical uh, traditions, the Alberti bass was the typical way of Mozart to accompany his themes. It's a broken chord, a broken harmony, a broken in, in a special way that was typically from this uh, composer. very standard. It could be a very, very cliché for a pop song. So what I used was to clean out the harmony using anti-romantic effects. The, the, the background is quite clean and I am avoiding uh, the, the banality of many of the standard chords in the modern uh, film music. The major seventh, the major seventh added uh, many hundreds of banalities. Banality comes into music, mainly pop, and of course, in a great amount of music in film, because this this banality is recognized by general public as something nice. And the abuse of something nice becomes banality. That's why I'm talking about this uh, character, which I hate. I don't, I don't think it's interesting to repeat all the cliches, hundreds of cliches in, in film. The structure, I always use minor major in uh, music that has some popular or folklore or traditional flavor. 
uh, more for contrast than for uh, the intention. There is a standard cliché that says that minor keys are sad and major keys are happy. Well, all this is nonsense, but uh, something of the truth is in, inserted in the way you manage minor or major tonalities. Sometimes I avoid uh, standard, and then I use, well, not sometimes, I think in the 95, 100% of my music is not major or minor like that. It's major or minor using polymodal uh, harmonies and so. For example, Mixolydian Lydian, which is uh, very useful for making uh, interesting scale patterns in the music. Music is a little bit non-standard because I I don't care about melodies. So it's supposed to be that melody is the queen of music, and then the other aspects, harmony, tensions, uh, dramaturgia. Uh, pulsation or rhythm, uh, popularly called rhythm, and so are serving the melody or helping the melody to be continuously in the in the throne of uh, of the kingdom. I think it's this nineteenth century idea. inspiration is just to reflect not the character because my music I tried from a long time ago to reflect and not to imitate or to be impressed by the dramaturgy. I used to accompany the image with my reflections on the film and these reflections are a little bit counterpoint to the image. Los veranos nos íbamos a casa de tía Mili. Which is much better than Mickey Mousing. I used to say here for for when I was composing films a lot. Well, not a lot, but around a hundred films I did. Mickey Mousing is the redundance of the image. It's obvious. Other times, uh, the image is so dramatic that music should not reflect this drama. It's better to be aware of this kind of tremendous, dramatic uh, uh, instant. Once I compose a piece, I don't hear it. After a certain time, a certain period of time, could be five years, could be ten years, could be two months, three months, I don't know, maybe I would like to check, not to hear, to check what I did. Uh, it happens also with the people, with the music composed already. Once I finish a piece, it's like a kind of birth. So the, the creature is, birth, is, 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 is born. It's not anymore mine. This creature has 
his rights to develop character, efficiency, uh, purpose, searching beauty, all these matters together.